Hi, I'm Dr. Sienna Clark with Kick At 55 Fitness. Today's workout is gonna be a 40 minute total body Tabata. For this workout, you're only gonna need your body weight so there's no equipment needed. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know every time our workouts post. All right guys, we're gonna start this workout with a warm up. It's gonna be a Tabata as well. Three movements starting with high knees. Here we go. Tabata means 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So right now we're working for 20 seconds, really getting those knees up in the air. Right now we're working your hip flexors, your quads, your psoas, trying to warm them up for those squats we're gonna do later, some resistant movements. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax, breathe, 10 seconds rest. Now we're gonna get into a plank and do a plank with rotation. So it's a plank with a twist. Here we go. All right, you're planking, rotate, Left arm up, rotate, right arm up, and back and forth, keeping your core engaged. Your shoulders should be aligned right over your hands. Your core, nice and tight, and your hips in line with your shoulders. And in three, two, one. Stand back up. Now we're gonna do squat jumps. So that 10 seconds rest. So five, four, three, Two, one, you're gonna squat and jump. Back and forth, making sure those knees are nice and straight, in line with your shins, getting your butt back. We don't wanna be going forward with it. We wanna keep it back. So we're working more of a behind. So think if your body's behind your midline, you're working your behind, which is our bigger muscle groups. So we want those power movers doing most of the work. And in three, two, one. All right, breathe. We got two more rounds of this. In three, two, one, starting back at high knees. Three more rounds. <laughs> All right, really get those knees up. Even out a little bit and have your feet flexed so that you're working your ankle muscles at the same time. And in three, two, one. Get ready to get down on the ground for those planks with a twist. In three, two, one. Tummy tight, twist, arm up in the air, twist, arm up in the air. This way we're getting a little bit of that back spine rotation in there. Really warming up our body, full body for this full body workout. Keep it up. Almost there, five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, get ready for the squat jumps. And in three, two, one, squat and jump. Keep it up. So your butt's gonna go back. Notice I'm shifting my weight back, not leaning my body forward. Really working those quads and your glutes. We already overuse our front muscles like our quads enough because our world's in front of us. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds rest. Then back to the beginning of the high knees for the second half of this warm up. Here we go. In three, two, one. High knees. Keep breathing through it. It's always important to coordinate your breathing and make sure that you're breathing to get all that oxygen to the muscles so that they can function. All right, keep it up. And in three, two, one. All right, back on the ground. We're gonna do that plank with a twist. In three, two, one, nice strong plank with a twist. Bring that arm really reaching it overhead. Don't let those shoulders round. We want to get those shoulders nice and tight. Our scapular muscles are some of our proximal muscles. That means that's the trunk muscles that we're really working for endurance, for prolonged positioning, like standing a while. We want these nice and strong. 
go. And in three, two, one. Stand up, get ready for those jump squats. And in five, four, three, two, one, squat and jump. Really use those calf muscles. Propel your body up. Those are really important muscles to use. It helps with running and walking. The ending part of a walk and our gait, which is how you walk, it's really pushing off of those toes. Your glutes are working, your calves are working a lot, propel you forward. The stronger they are, the stronger you will be, the less pain you'll have, the faster you can walk. And in three, two, one. Good. All right. Get ready. Do high knees. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, high knees. Make sure your trunk is upright. You're not leaning forward too much. When you're running, it's okay to have a little bit of a lean because you want to go in the direction you're going. For this, you want to keep your trunk upright. We're not going anywhere. We're standing still. So keep your body upright. And three, two, one. All right, get ready for those planks with a twist. Keep breathing. All right, three, two, one. Strong plank, shoulders back, tummy tight. Twist. When you twist, you should end where your midline is, basically where your other hand is. So not short of it, right in line. Being stacked and in line is very important because that's the best way to absorb forces. You've got to bend in something. That's where things tend to break. That's the most fragile position. So we want to teach our body to be nice and strong and stable. And in three, two, one. Stand up. Get ready for squat, squat jumps. Three, two, one. Squat and jump. Challenge you to go a little bit lower, a little bit higher for this. You got it. Keep it up. Like push those knees out. Really raising those glutes. Decreasing the stress to the inside of your knee by pushing them out and opening up your hips. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, catch your breath, get ready. We're gonna do the next set of Tabata. For this, we'll have two movements and four rounds. It's gonna be push-ups and double hops with squat jacks. All right, so we're gonna start, get on the ground. Get ready for those push-ups. Here we go. In three, two, one. Nice and stacked. Down and back up. Now, I always prefer if it's done with tricep push-ups, keeping your elbow creases pointing forward towards your head and keeping your elbows nice tucked in by your rib cage, keeping your body close and stable. Once again, working those posterior back muscles more than the front ones that are overworked. And in three, two, one. All right, stand up, it's just 10 seconds of rest. You're gonna hop two times, then do a squat jack. Three, two, one. Hop, hop, squat jack. Hop, hop, squat jack. 20 seconds here. Really use those calf muscles. Hop, hop, and jack. A little bit of coordination here. Coordination is key for improving motor control and efficiency with movements and your overall stability, and reduces your risk of injury. And in three, two, one. All right, get ready for round two of our push-ups. And double hop squat jacks. Three, two, one. Coming down and back up. If you need to get on your knees, go ahead. Remember, you still wanna keep your shoulders right in line with your hands. Either way, 
Halfway, keep it up. Remember to breathe. You could always coordinate breathing with two parts of the breathing the movement, breathing in and breathing out. Three, two, one. Good. All right. Back over to those hops, the squat jacks. And in three, two, one. Hop, hop, jack. Hop, hop, jack. So if you're using those arms and your legs and your calves for all this, even your heart, especially with the extra jumps. Remember, your heart has a muscle just like the other muscles in your body. Our whole body is full of cohesive unit creating our body. We want to make it all work in conjunction and support all of them together so that we can function as efficiently as we can. All right, and relax. All right, second half. Get ready for those push-ups. Remember, I don't like the wide ones as much as the narrow ones. Protect your shoulders, work some muscle groups that we're not used to using. Here we go. So no and yes. Keep those shoulders down. Don't let them raise up. Otherwise, the next thing you know, you're gonna have neck pain. You don't want that. Keep that core tight, really squeezing in, but not letting your shoulders round too much. Over halfway. You guys got it. And in three, two, one. All right. Okay. All right. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Double hop and jack. You guys got it. Double, double jack. It's like hopscotch. Except for you're not landing on one leg. Land on two legs. Keep it up. And in three, two, one. All right. Now we're gonna get into our fourth set. We're gonna start back at those push-ups. So here we go. All right, we're gonna get on the ground. And in five, four, three, two, one. Push up, up and down. Keeping those arms nice and tucked in. Once again, don't keep them wide and pushing out. Keep them nice and narrow. You should feel your arms slide along your rib cage. 20 seconds total, 10 more seconds to go. Keep it up, shoulders down. Notice my neck is not up, it's not down. We're keeping it all aligned because it's still part of our spine. And in three, two, one. You're gonna stand back up, have that 10 second rest, and we're gonna do our double hop to squat jack. All right, remember to breathe in and out. And in three, two, one. Hop, hop, jack. Really keep that weight back. You should feel it, your body weight on your heels. So I know you keep going on your toes. Sometimes you wanna land on those toes but we don't wanna do that. That's gonna cause a lot of stress to our knees in the front. And that tightens up your kneecap, then you'll notice you get a nice cracking sounds in there. You don't want that. The way to fix it is to really work those behind muscles. Keep breathing through it. We're almost there. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right, nice work guys. Okay, get your water, get your towel if you need to. Now we're gonna get into our next circuit. Two movements, we're gonna do lateral hop jump squats. So you'll see, they're mountain climbers. All right, in three, two, one, you're gonna hop and squat. Hop and squat. 20 seconds of this. Keep that same thought process, making sure you're landing on those heels, shifting your weight back towards those heels, really working those butt muscles. Turn those knees out. Don't bring them in. Keep it up, we're almost there. Use your arms to help you with some momentum. And in three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna get on the ground for mountain climbers. Okay, 10 seconds rest here. Once again, keep that nice, strong plank form. Body nice and stacked. All right, so back and forth. 
Just like so. All right, so really drive those knees up. Keep that core tight. Shoulders stacked over your hands. Not letting them round. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand up, 10 seconds rest. Okay, here we go. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is the lateral squats. And in three, two, one. Squat and jump. Doing great. Keep it up, back and forth. Using those side muscles as you're hopping side to side. Over halfway. Push up on those toes, land on those heels. Three, two, one. All right, get ready for those mountain climbers. And in three, two, one, back and forth. Really drive those knees up, keep your core tight. This works your hip muscles and your core muscles and your shoulders. It's a nice weight bearing exercise. I give it to somebody for back pain, for shoulder pain, and even decrease their hip stability. Keep it up. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right. So now we're going into the third round. We've got five more seconds of rest. We're hopping side to side with our squat jumps. Here we go. Hop and squat. Back and forth. See how far you can hop to one side to the other. Remember, keep your trunk upright. Should be nice and strong and sturdy to be able to be upright after these workouts. Because we keep planking and keeping everything in line. We're teaching our body alignment is important. And that way it remembers to always do that and protect yourself. When you're bending, when you're lifting, when you're running halfway, keep it up. Keep breathing through it all. Remember, just feel that weight shift onto your heels and rest. All right, back to those mountain climbers. All right, here we go. And climb. Shoulders pinched, neck nice and tight. You can even add a little bit of a chin tuck. So that means you're bringing your chin towards your spine. It's kind of like you're giving it a double chin. It's kind of like the stability Exercise for your neck, like pushing your tummy back flat to the ground is. Keep it up. And in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, getting into our fourth round. We're gonna go back to those lateral jump squats. And in three, two, one, hop to the side and squat. Remember, Coming on your toes, landing, shifting your weight back to your heels, turning those knees out. It's increasing the space in the joint, in your hips, in your knees, and your ankles. The more forward you go, the more pinching is going to happen, the more stress to the structures inside your joint. And in three, two, one. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna get back to the mountain climbers. In three, two, one. Back and forth, shoulders pinched, neck tucked in, shoulders down, like you're not wearing them like earrings. And tummy tight. Should be all lined. Do you want your butt too high or too low? Keep it up. And in five, Four, three, two, one. Good. All right, now we're gonna get into another Tabata. We've got three different movements. Starting with stationary lunges. We'll start, get that left leg back. And we're in a stationary lunge for 20 seconds. Start with that left leg back for this one. It's four total rounds, so we're gonna alternate which leg is forward and which leg is back each time. 
keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna get back into that plank. Once again, total body movements here. Remember, repetition helps you with motor control and motor memory. So, remember that plank position. Now we're gonna do hip circles. So you got extension and you're keeping it in circles. I'm actually have you bend it at the knee, really working those glutes. This will work more your glute max when your knee is bent. Circles. All right, keep everything aligned. Keep it up. This will help you get a nice big butt. All right, and three, two, one. Next round, we'll do the opposite leg. Okay, so this next one, we're gonna do butt kicks with four power kicks. So it's regular butt kicks for two, and then you're gonna do four power kicks. Here we go, so butt kick, butt kick, double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump, and keep it up. So really get your cardio going. Once again, we have a theme here with motor control, motor memory, and coordination here. Almost there. And in three, two, one. All right, back at stationary lunges. 10 seconds rest. Now I want you to have your right leg back, left leg forward. I'm doing the opposite as you guys. Here we go. Up and down. Your legs shouldn't be on a tightrope. You want them kind of this diagonal to increase your base of support. The wider you are, the bigger and better your base of support is, the more stable you are. This is already a stability balance exercise because you're already putting most of your weight on one leg. Over halfway, and in five, four, three, two, one. All right, plank, hip circles. Three, two, one. All right, get that nice spin, and you're circling. All right, so extension with the circle. Keep it up. Keep breathing through it. I really want to get all of your glutes in there. Halfway. Our butt muscles do extension, just like our back does, which is that backward motion. So if you work your butt muscles, it'll help support your back muscles. And in three, two, one. All right. Back over to those butt kicks. Two to four. All right, and in three, two, one, butt kick, butt kick, double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump. Get that cardio going. All right, keep it up. Here we go. Halfway. And in three, two, one. All right. Halfway through this, I'm gonna go back to the stationary lunges. Have that left leg back. Here we go. All right, up and down. Notice you wanna keep that knee tracking. Don't let it go in, push it out, and don't let it go too far forward. The main key is to keep your knee behind your toes. But if you can keep it in line with your heel, then you've got more forces. And remember to keep its weight back. Because usually more challenging than this, I'm a 40 go. So if we can reduce that challenge, let's let it remember to keep its weight back a little bit more so it knows what to do when we get further forward challenges to keep us from going too far forward. And in three, two, one. All right, plank hip circles. For these now, I want to hit that full body so your leg's going to be straight this time. Okay? In that plank. And lift that leg up, do those circles, little circles. The challenge here is not let your body shift. Keep it nice and stacked, really squeezing your butt. You should really feel it when you kick that leg higher up. Putting a lot of weight on one leg. That's the one that's the stable leg on the ground. And in three, two, 
One. Good. All right. Now, we're going to go back to those power butt kicks. Two butt kicks, four power jumps. Here we go. Three, two, one. Butt kick, butt kick. Double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump. Back and forth. It's a good one because not only is it working your muscles, good cardio one, it helps improve your quad flexibility. And in three, two, one. All right. So fourth round, back to stationary lunges. Get that right leg back and let's go. Up and down. Try to get your knee all the way to the ground if you can. Make it go gentle. You don't want to slam that knee down. Keep that weight on your heel. Knee nice and straight. Butt back. A lot of people tend to move forward with it. Think like you're going elevator down. Up and down. Halfway. Doing good. Turning that knee out. Shifting that weight to your heel. Three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to do the opposite leg. As the other. Those hip circles. Get ready. Nice string. Strong plank and circles. All right. Clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever works for you. For this one, I like my toe pointed. Circling up and down. You should feel that glute muscle working when you hit it up. Like I said, I want to work the whole glutes. So we're doing these circles. So you've got three glutes. Your glute max, your glute med, and your glute min. This way we work them all. Three, two, one. All right, back to those power butt kicks. Three, two, one. Kick, kick, hop, 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 hop. Try to see if you can really kick your butt. I'm actually getting more flexible with this as we go on. So initially, I can actually hit my butt. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. Nice work, guys. Get your water, towel off. We're going to get ready for our next circuit, which are these lateral lunges. We're going to add a kick to it. All right. So, lunge to your left. If you're doing the opposite as me, and use your left leg and kick. 20 seconds, keeping the same leg back and forth. Shift that weight back. So once again, stay on your heels. Keep your body upright. Don't lean too far forward over your knee. Stay upright. 10 seconds in. Driving with that heel. Bring your toes back towards you. Three, two, one. All right, next we're going to get on our back. We're going to do a V up with a Russian twist. All right, so here we go. Tummy tight. You're gonna be up, hold it, twist, twist, and down. Be up, hold it, twist, twist, and down. Keep it going. So like we're working our lower abs, our hip flexors, and our rotational core muscles, like our internal and external obliques. Three, two, one. All right, now, we're gonna do burpees, chest down. Here we go. So, remember, keep everything stacked. I like to break it down. That plank, that push up we talked about before, coming up, that squat form, and jump. So, remember, taking everything we've learned and putting it all together so our body stays nice and stacked. If you keep your quads nice and tight throughout the motion, it'll keep you from snaking. And in three, Two, one. All right, nice work. I'm gonna start back at the beginning with those lateral lunges, this time going to your right, opposite of whatever you did last time. All right, lunge, kick with that same leg that you're lunging on. We're working our inner thigh by eccentrically working as it's controlling on the way down, but also stretching the muscle at the same time, bringing those lateral hips and your hip flexors all in one. And in three, two, one. 
Get back on the ground for those V ups into a Russian twist. Get it ready. Tummy tight, arms overhead. V up, twist, twist. You got it. V up, twist, twist. If you need to, you can keep your knees in. When you twist, do what you can. If you keep your legs straight, it's a little bit harder. Challenge yourself to whatever challenge is you. And in three, two, one. All right, back up. Get ready for the burpees. And in three, two, one. Remember that form. Coming down and back up. I'm going to pick up speed for this one. Remember here, don't let your body round too much. Keep it nice and stacked. Sometimes I have trouble with that one. You can fix that by really working your shoulder muscles in the back some more, like bend over rows. And in three, two, one. Might as well finish it. All right, now we're on our third round. We're gonna lunge back to your left side. I'm going to my right to mirror you. All right, three, two, one. Step out, lunge, shift your weight back, and kick. See how high you can kick? Try to challenge yourself, but keep control. Keep thinking about your knee, being in line with your heel, your butt going back, halfway through. Keep breathing through it all. And in three, two, one. All right, back to those V-ups with a twist. 10 seconds rest. Remember, roll those hips back. Keep it engaged throughout. Let's go. V up, twist, twist. Our core is our diaphragm to our pelvic floor. We've got a lot of muscles in there, including that means six pack abs, your transverse abdominis, your external and internal obliques, and all those pelvic floor muscles. So this is a good one to get all of those in between. Three. Two, one. All right. Get ready for the burpees. Three, two, one. Shoulders back, tummy tight. Jumping out. Push up, squat, jump. Keep it up. Keeping everything nice and solid. And in three, two, one. Okay, now we're on the fourth round. I'm gonna go out to the side. I'm going to my left, you should be going to your right. Let's go. Back, kicking with the same leg. Turning those knees out, not letting that chest come too far forward. Kind of like those lunges, think about going elevator down inside of Elevator forward. Doing great. Keep it up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Back on the ground. All right. Tummy engaged, legs straight. Here we go. Arms overhead. V up, hold it, twist, twist. V up, hold it, twist, twist. Try to point, point those toes, keep those tw quads engaged. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, now back to the burpees. And three, two, one. Shoulders back, tummy tight. And jump. Plank, push up, squat, jump. It's a nice combination movement for that full body. Everything we've done already has warmed us up for these. Almost there. And in three, 
two, one. All right. Now, towel off. We get into our last circuit. Okay. So, three movements. We're going to do sumo squat with a calf raise and a side crunch. All right. Once again, going for that full body. So, get that nice wide squat. You can do that by feet together. Turn out, turn out, and then sumo squat on your heels, side crunch. Sumo squat on your heels, alternate the crunch. 20 seconds of work on your toes, and then squat. Really working that full body. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Next, you're going to do straight leg raise hold. Pull that whole hold, legs up in the air, and you're going to crunch. Keep it up. Now, I want you to challenge yourself to where you can keep your back flat. If this is too easy, a 90-90, lower it down. You got 10 more seconds. Keep it up. And in five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. Next is going to be playing frogs. Three, two, one. Jump back, jump in, hands up. 20 seconds of work. Ten seconds in. And in five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, back to the beginning. The sumo squats. Get in position. Let's do this. Squat, toes up, crunch. Here in the squat, toes up, crunch. I'm trying to give you guys a full body workout. We're really working on our calves, our outside core muscles, and our thighs. Over halfway, keep it up. Three, two, one. Back on the ground for those crunches. Legs up in the air. This time I want you to reach for your toes with your hands. But if your neck is bothering you, hold your neck, okay? But I want you to challenge yourself, see how far up you can go. Keep it up. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back up. Get ready for those plank frogs. Three, two, one. Shoulders back, tummy tight. Jump out in flash. Keep those shoulders pinched. 20 seconds here. Keep it up. And in three, two, one. All right, we're gonna get next to our third round here. Okay, ready? Sumo squat, let's go. Calf raise, crunch. Squatting, calf raise, crunch. Keep it up. You can either keep your hands up or just switch them up as you like. Whatever feels comfortable for you, just make sure you're doing all the movements. And in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back on the ground. Get ready to crunch. Legs straight, tummy tight. Challenge yourself and go up and down, crunching. Don't let your chin turn up. Keep it tucked in. We're working the stapler muscles here and here by keeping on chin tuck and that back flat. Three, two, one. All right, get ready for plank frogs. All right, let's go. Plank frog. 20 seconds of work. And in five, four, three, two, 
one. All right. Now, we're going to get into the last part. That's sumo squat. In three, two, one. You're squatting, calf raise, crunch. That's that side crunch. Really working all the muscles here. Remember, even though you're going up on your toes, you're landing back with your weight back on your heel when you come back up. So that we're keeping those posterior muscles, like your glutes, nice and working. You should already feel the burn in your quads while holding this. And in three, two, one. All right, back down on the ground. Tommy tight. Like straight up in the air. All right. And crunch. Twenty seconds total. We're halfway there. Try to challenge your core. Get your legs where you can keep them. And your back nice and straight. And in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Plank frogs. And in three, two, one. Plank, frog. Keep everything nice and stacked. Last part of this, try to pick up speed. 10 more seconds. And in five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. That completes our workout. Thank you for joining our 40 minute total body boot camp. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know every time our workouts post. If you like this video, remember to give us a thumbs up and send us comments below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. See you soon. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.